also talk through the numbers. In 1970, there were 1,600 firms in Switzerland from Le Brassus to Chaudfond in the Jura making watches. And they were the totally number one watch producers globally. And the source of their profit was they made a mechanical watch. Their pride was the mechanisms inside a watch. And the core subsystem of a watch was a, an escapement that went back and forth and the energy from the spring drains and oh, you hear it and then you see, oh, here's the time. In 19, and they, their customers, by the way, who would be the customers of a mechanical watch back in 1970? So if you would imagine a video of someone walking into Boucheret in Geneva. Uh, wearing a really nice suit. Uh, he is wearing a really nice suit? Yes. Yes. And uh, how, how old is he? Older. This is an older clientele, mostly male. The Swiss invent, in 1970, the quartz movement. Not the Swiss, uh, you mean, you're talking about Swatch? Uh, a little bit before Swatch. Okay. A little bit before Swatch. The Swiss consortium of organizations invent this particular piece of technology. This quartz technology is not a complicated escapement. It's just a piece of material science. It vibrates rapidly, it's way less costly, and it tells better time. You see, between 1970 and 1980, and remember in my image, the Swiss were up here. They're totally number one. The Swiss go bankrupt. In that 10-year window, the Swiss go bankrupt. Mr. Hyatt comes in later. Why did it take the failure, let me say it differently, why didn't a group of managers at an offsite on the future of the watch industry, why did they totally ignore the quartz movement? Uh, they would, they saw it as a fad, okay. I just want to dwell on this. I want you to see how difficult this is. They saw it was a fad. It goes against their own business. The business, the the business model totally shifts. High margin thing. This is now a low margin thing. So the business model shifts. Oh, we're not going to do that. The customer, the, the customer, yeah, yeah, the customers, when you ask those wealthy men who come in, do you want a less expensive watch that tells better time, they say no, make it more expensive, because this is status, this is plain 